What it do? It's your boy, the one and only Fat Boy V I I. And today is uh, kind of the first video of this uh, little weapon foundries that Bungie has introduced. Um, you know, for the Taken King, something that's kind of new with these different weapon companies. They're introducing three right off the bat. I'm sure there'll be more by launch time. But if it's just the three, it's no big deal. This is something that's pretty familiar with to me and some of the people that's on this channel that watch my videos and support it. Uh, it's Borderlands. Borderlands has always had a multitude of different companies or foundries that make weapons. So it's really cool to see Destiny going back to what the roots of it is supposed to be as a shooter and introducing something like this. So uh, this is a this is one of the functional archetypes that you know Bungie has you know showed to us from the foundries. Uh, and the first one we're gonna start with is a brand new one to us. There's been an emblem for it for a while, but there hasn't really been any guns with these logos on it. And it's the functional, reliable, unapologetic. I don't know how to pronounce this word technically. I can't wait till somebody actually says it from Bungie. I'm gonna go with Haki. Screw it, we're going with Haki. That, that's what it is. And uh, here's kind of its little summary: is hammers, not scalpels. Relatable designs, hearkening back to the lost era, Haki is not about exciting form, it is about exciting function, a weapons weapon, Haki is the instrument of the people. Now, uh, you'll see a couple different pictures flash up on screen in just a moment, including some 3D concept art of uh, like a shotgun, it's pretty like a base squared out shotgun, and a little, little buddy Hunter sliding with the shotgun in his hands, which actually... If I'm not mistaken, if you look at this photo, it looks like he's at the tower. You can't slide with no weapons at the tower. Ah, this game's going to be interesting if you can kill people at the tower and just go rogue and just murder everybody. And the pulse rifle, which actually looks really good. That's a really good looking pulse rifle. Um, I, I, I like pulse rifles. I'm one of the few. And here you see a warlock actually shooting the pulse rifle. Again, it looks like at the tower. If there is a new multiplayer map at the tower, oh my god, that'll be balling. Uh, and last but not least is this auto rifle that is now on screen. The auto rifle itself looks like a scar from Modern Warfare 2, uh, Call of Duty that is, if you're living under a rock for the past 10 years. Uh, but it looks like a scar, which is pretty cool. If it's actually a scar, that would be freaking awesome. Bungie, make it happen. Activision, you're a part of this. Make the scar happen. It's one of my favorite weapons, if you can't tell. And right there, there's a Titan actually shooting the scar. Oh, that's cute. We had each of the three classes uh, showcasing a 3D concept weapon. And uh, here's some more information over the tactical analysis of uh, this weapon type or weapon foundry. Haki, building reliable tools built for soldiers in the field. Haki values simplicity over atrocity, function over flair. Haki weapons all start with more tightly focused band of base stats that don't spike as high or low as other weapon families. Granting a solid foundation for growing the weapon on a Haki talent grid, you'll see a simplified set of scopes that best work for the weapon. Front loaded perk nodes with the stat upgrade options uh, occupying the final column. A key perk selection is focused on offense actions and combat tactics. A key pulse rifle fires a burst of four rounds instead of three, with damage adjusted to match the DPS of the three round burst, meaning the pulse rifle pulse rifles do less damage individually, but as a group are equal. Fire time between bursts is slightly faster. So, uh, oh my god, I dropped the microphone. Oh, I dropped it again. Uh, so, basically what's happening here is the new Pulse Rifles are going to be shooting four-round burst, uh, but it's going to do the same amount of damage as three-round burst, so I guess it's just a little new feature. Well, who cares? Uh, I wonder if they're going to be something in the... I want to actually see individual skill trees for this. I've noticed going over all of these that the Haki is actually focusing on auto rifles, shotguns, and Pulse Rifles. Um, not really my forte. Um... I know the, the weapon foundry I'm going to go with if you have to pick one or if it's somebody you can just specifically buy from. Maybe this will make, uh, like I said in the previous video, the blacksmith more useful. The gunsmith, I should say. Uh, but anyways, guys, in the comment section down below, uh, once all three of these videos are up, let me know which of these foundries you would like to go with. If it's this one, let me know down below and tell me why. Are you an auto rifle player? Are you a pulse rifle player? Or if you're up close and personal, which 90% of Destiny players are with a shotgun, let me know how you feel about it. And uh, what, what are some perks specifically you would like to see? Make up your own perk. I don't care. Let me know down below. Let's have a conversation. And as always, guys, for the channel, check back for more Destiny and Halo 5 Guardians videos. Halo 5 videos are coming soon, I promise. But anyways, guys, check back for more gameplays, commentaries, news, and updates. Peace.